along scenic coastlines in the south. Waves of mesmerizing green and golden grass stretch to the horizon. This is the salt marsh. Part liquid, part solid, an ever-shifting landscape stretching for miles before it meets the sea. Coastal marshes are found anywhere there's soft sediment and not too much wave action. In the U.S., our big marshes are in South Carolina and Georgia, and then areas like Louisiana. There's a huge amount of life that lives here. Marshes function as nursery grounds for a number of commercially and recreationally important species. Everything from shrimp to crab to fish that are very popular with sportsmen. Between the ebb and flow of the tides, the only constant is change. Fish will move onto the marsh at high tide to feed. And at low tide, you'll get more terrestrial organisms. Herons and egrets and ibis, spoonbills, all of them feed in the marsh and organisms that are in the mud that come out, like the crabs, so it's really fluid. Marshes filter nutrients and contaminants from the water and serve as buffers during storms. They provide protection from wave energy, from hurricanes. It is an absolutely beautiful landscape. I mean, I love everything, including the smell of a healthy salt marsh on a moist morning. They really give a sense of place to Georgians, South Carolinians, North Carolinians, and Floridians. As we're worried about climate change, marshes are one of the important habitats that can help take up carbon and store it rather than have it be in the atmosphere. How do scientists study the salt marsh? And how resilient is it to climate change?